Welcome to the Solicam University channel. This video's topic is manually programming milling toolpaths. So in this video, I want to cover strategies for when our general standard milling toolpaths just can't do the feature that you're looking to do on your part. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a strategy specific to this part, but the overall idea is the same. Um, you're going to add sketches and surfaces to take control of the movement of the tool while still actually doing the milling toolpath that you're intending to do. So let's take a look at this part right here. So this part has a hole that I need to drill from this side. And obviously there's an undercut there, there's a lip. So how can we actually get to that part? So specific to this part, what I did was I added a sketch. So that is the movement that I want the tool to take. I want the tool to come down, then go under the lip, and then move down there. And I have a tool that is shaped for that. I go to my tool table. You can see that the tool that I have, it has a reduced neck. So it actually could go in there, come in, move in and then go back down. So how do we actually tell it to take that trajectory? How do we get it to follow that path? Well, we can use this surface. Now, with that path and with that surface, what I'm doing here is this. If we go into our HSS toolpath, which is a 3D toolpath we have, surface-based, and use projection, user-defined, what that actually does is it will project that curve, those, those lines there, onto that surface. If we go to the geometry section, we could take a look that I have that face selected, I have that curve selected, and I'm gonna project it to the surface normal, which means that on this surface, that line is projected right on that surface. On this surface, that line is projected right onto that surface, and so forth. So this is literally trying to follow that line as it's projected to that surface, which in the end is pretty much telling it just follow that line. If we take a look at everything else, it's just the same as your regular um, uh, HSS toolpath. We're telling it to do gouge checking and such. What I'm basically telling it to do is a toolpath that'll look like this. It is literally just following that line as it goes down. Now it's trying to project the toolpath onto that surface, but really it's following that line. So let's take a look at this. Let's go down here and I'll just step through the code. So it goes down that line there, comes in, goes down, and then it follows the same trajectory outwards. Now, that's where the trick is. If we really zoom in on that curve, we'll see that it actually is offset by a really small amount. That's about one-tenth or one one-thousandth of, of, a, of a distance there. And it's just the same curve, the same chain, shifted by that much. But because the projection along the surface normal, all of that is just collapsed on top of the surface. So the toolpath itself is following that same line as it goes back and forth. But the, ge the geometry itself is offset. So it actually is allowing you to chain it from this line down and then that little line there and then back up. So that's the actual trick here using HSS projection for this kind of manual programming. Draw up your, your trajectory, offset it by that slight amount, and then have a surface that everything projects to, and then it literally will just follow those lines back and forth. Now this is the kind of thing that could get a little tricky. This is definitely something I would highly recommend. Um, checking with your, your uh, tech support contact, see if there's any strategies that they can help you with, but this is all geometry based. The toolpath itself is very simple. As you saw, you just choose the surface the curve, and then that's it, it just projects it. But this is very dependent on the geometry. So this would be the kind of thing that if you have training hours, definitely give us a call and schedule some training time. We can help you with developing the geometry. Or if you've got a feel for how this works, uh, basically it is geometry based. So this is this is the kind of video that it's we're gonna work for this thing, but you'll have to make your own services and your own chains for your specific part. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCamp, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcampsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.